tattoos, piercings, implants, plastic surgery, all forms of permanent self-expression that fall under the category of extreme body modification. Body modification has been practiced throughout human history for rites of passage, religious beliefs, and mythological symbolism. These people who have modified their bodies feel their modifications are a representation of their ideal identity, but often face harsh criticism from the general public. My name is Anthony Padilla, and today I'm going to be sitting down with people who have chosen to modify their bodies in some of the most extreme ways imaginable to find out the truth behind their stories. Why are they willing to endure such high amounts of physical pain? Why do they feel most comfortable looking so different from the rest of society? And what made them decide to permanently alter their appearance in the first place? Hey! What up, what up? Richie yeah. the Barber! Woo. Hey, Tiamat Legion Medusa! Thank you for coming out and teaching me a little bit about the wondrous world of extreme body modification. Yeah, bro. Woo! What do you consider yourself? Extreme body modifier? Clowned out. Clowned that's, out. That's, what I, that's what I call it. I do consider myself to be extremely modified. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a body modifier because I don't actually do body modifications. I'm simply what's called a collector. Mm. So I am myself a walking and living, breathing work of art. Can you describe what it means to partake in extreme body modification? By altering yourself completely different than how you came out. You're yeah. your own individual person. There you go. I think a lot of people are hung up on, on the word body mod modification as something that's taboo. But if you look at the world today, realistically, there are body modifications being done in hospitals all over the world every single day. You know, you're thinking, I'm mutilating myself. But what about that little uh, baby boy that uh, just got uh, his cut because his mom and dad thought it was okay to get him circumcised without his permission. So why is it that what I'm doing is called something like body modification instead of a procedure or surgery? I didn't even realize it, but I have endured body modification myself. I had a deviated septum that I had less deviated, huh? I guess. I like your nose. <laughs> Thank you. You have a cute nose. <laughs> Thank you. Has anyone ever licked your nose? <laughs> What's the overall look you're going for? Clown. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> clown yeah. Whenever I fill out applications or legal paperwork, someone yeah. says, what is your nationality or your race, whatever, I always put down reptilian. We're here today with a real life reptilian. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> What was your first modification? My first modification that is, is one of my extreme mods, which happens to be my, was my first set of horns. Oh, okay, yeah. These horns that I have here on my forehead, which are larger than the ones I have throughout my head here. Can I feel them? Absolutely. Yeah. You can pet the dragon. Ah, oh my god! <laughs> so I got like my like all this done, tattooed when I was 17. And then your face, when did your face happen? Face happened about like seven years ago. And I just got like little tiny little, little lucky charms, I call them. I have eight horns on my head. Yeah. I will be getting more. I have silicone implants around uh, on my bra eyebrows. Oh, yeah. yeah. Five each. So I got silicone implants underneath my skin on my eyebrows. Can I touch the... Yeah, touch them, dude. Whoa, that's really <laughs> hard. Yeah. I was not expecting... I, I thought it was going to be like jelly. No, it's like boobies, you know, boobies in your eyebrows. That's like a very hard boobie. It's a hard boobie. I've had the seclara, the white part of my eyeballs. It, it's tattooed green. So you had a tattoo gun in your eyeball. They can't use a tattoo machine to tattoo the eyeball because it doesn't take like tattooing the skin. So what do they use? They inject ink under the protective clear layer of the seclera. So you had a needle in your eyeball? Yes, and there's no pain. And then you shave off your... I wax them. My you wax it? Yeah, Mrs. Clown waxes them. <laughs> Mrs. Clown? Yeah, I got Mrs. Clown. She's tattooed too. Oh, sh Got like a little heart tattoo nose and then just two little... So I've had both my ears removed. Yeah. I only have six teeth left in my mouth, so that means I have had 32 teeth removed. And the tongue, I had my tongue bifurcated. The so tongue you, split too. You got a split tongue? Is that new? I just thought it was weird, so I just did too, you know, all freaky. What was that process like? Was that... So they take like a scalpel uh -huh. and you have a guy behind you and he has these like tongs, whatever. Uh -huh. And he holds your tongue and the guy in front of you just like stabs it in the middle and just cuts it out and then you have, I'm holding a cup and just letting the blood just go into this cup. That was the only procedure that I actually almost passed out in, in the middle of getting it done. Did, were you regretting it while it was happening? I was like, what the hell? Oh my god. Are you done yet? No. Oh my god. And can you move each side separately? Yeah. That, that happens just when it happens. Right. I, 
I'm not one to sit, and I know a lot of my friends that sit there and they do all these tricks with their tongue. They're trying to train but, their... Yeah, and I'm like, that's good and well, and I think it's fun. I like watching people do that. Yeah. But that's not a reptilian thing to do. That's right. a human thing to do. My natural thing is to flick my tongue, uh -huh. and that's it. So what kind of look would you do for the snake look? I can lick a lollipop in double time. <laughs> you from each side. Can you describe your favorite modification that you've ever had? It's, it's a close between the ears and the nose is my favorite because I love my new nose. Yeah. I, I hated my human nose. So my nose uh, is inspired by Lord Voldemort. Voldemort oh. nose! Yes. Whoa. I, I will marry Vol Voldemort in a <laughs> second. I never thought of Voldemort as a sexual icon. Oh, this... he, he does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to choose just one that's my top favorite, uh -huh. it's having my ears gone. Oh, why is that? Yeah, I didn't like them. You don't like your ears? I didn't like my, my human ears. I come from a family of big-eared people. <laughs> okay, so you thought they were too big? Maybe our name should have been <laughs> Hernandez Dumbo. <laughs> What was the first thing that you had done to yourself that was the first part of the transformation toward class? I would say my nose. That was your nose trend? The nose red. That's what really, I was like, I don't want a nose red. And like, I never really told like the girl I was dating at the time, because they always say no. So I'd just be like, showed up with a tattoo and they're like, what are you doing with your face? You're so beautiful. Like, why would you do that? I'm like, I, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it. And then when I went blue, yeah, like I didn't tell her at all. And then she literally, I put it on Instagram and she text me is like I, I can't do this we're done you were so dumped she, because you got the tattoo yeah. without telling her so i just started laughing i was like whatever you can't stop me how old were you when you first started getting into body modification Does. i think when i first came to la it was like 10 years ago so Decided. i was 23 years old and like la you can like you know be who you want to be i saw all these you know everybody doing their thing I'm like, well, I want to do my thing, you know? I mean, it all started a long time ago. My grandpa took me to a circus, and I saw, like, a clown, and the clown stuck. Maybe because they said, no, you can't be a clown. Like, this is not good. You Who can't. said that? My family, they're like, you can't be a clown. No one's going to take you serious. I was like, I want to be a clown. Yeah. After a while, when I came to Hollywood, I just kind of, I just came out as a clown, you know? I was in my late 40s. Oh. Prior to me living my life as, as the freak that I am, <laughs> proudly. Proudly a proud freak. Proud freak here. Proud yeah. freak alert. But I already had 79 piercings and most of them were hidden and the ones that weren't I could take out every day and put them back in, which is what I used to do when I worked at, uh, as a banker. So in you my, were a banker? In, yes, in my prior life I was a banker. I was a vice president at one of the largest banks in the nation. Wow. It's incredible to see and to hear people who don't know me to automatically assume that I'm a loser, I've never done anything, haven't accomplished anything in life, ignorant, probably didn't even graduate from high school. You're like, no, I fit in with society yeah. with yeah. a high paying job. Mm -hmm. What's the most bizarre interaction you've had so far? So I'm at, I'm at the Fonda Theater. I'm waiting yeah. to go see this band, right? The person waving the wand, you know, that search you to go in the show, she's wanting down the people he leaves, she sees me and literally like lunges at me, attacks me like ah! Why are you getting attacked? Because she's deathly afraid of clowns and she started having a panic attack. They call the ambulance. The, the other security like tackles me because they thought I did something to her. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 I, I, didn't, I'm, I didn't do anything. And then so, they assume you did because you yeah, look like that. The ambulance shows up and I'm like, can I see the show? Like. I'm so sorry. But then she didn't leave the job. So after the show, I came back out. Yeah. And she saw me again and had another panic attack. So it was really, I felt bad for her. What do you think made you decide, today is the day I'm going to make some permanent alterations to my body? I was still working at the bank and I found out that I, I was HIV positive. My, my health suddenly became something that was um, affecting my life in, yeah. in a very negative way. I went from being an excellent you know, employee at the bank that never missed a day to someone who was missing two or three days a week. So um, I started treatment right away. I left the bank. The, the treatment itself nearly killed me. I uh -huh. thought I was going to die, actually. Uh -huh. My viral load went down below 200. And when, and when it goes down below 200, you're officially have AIDS. So I officially had AIDS at one point, but I, I hung in there and I persevered. So I have gone from having AIDS to almost dying to now being U equals U, undetectable, untransmittable. And I'm so proud of oh, myself. Just thank you. Oh, that's huge. That's, that's huge. huge. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And I told myself at that, at that point, I don't want to die looking like a human. Yeah. Yeah. 
because uh, being human has been such a negative part of my life. I have endured so much ugliness in this yeah. world at the hands of humans. I want to die looking like a reptilian when I die from this world. Do you know how much money you've spent? I could have bought a boat. You could have bought a boat with that Probably. money? Probably, I spent so much. Yeah. I'm still going. Like a yacht's worth? Nah, but I could have bought a house for sure. Do you have a goal for your look? Like yes. an end goal? I'm, I was anticipating finishing by the year 2025. What's gonna take the longest of anything is the tattoo work. You're gonna have your whole body tattooed? Yes. Every inch of my body. Some people say, oh, you're gonna have your butt tattooed? I say, I'm gonna have everything tattooed, including my winker. <laughs> Do you have tons of modifications that we can't see? I got my, my tattooed. What's what? It's a barber pole. You tattooed it to look like a barber pole? Yeah. So you know a barber pole, right? So it has yeah. stripes around it. Oh, I know the barber pole. And then pole. The, the head part's yellow. <laughs> what, you had your head tattooed yellow? Yeah, and then I got stripes like around it. What did that feel like? What was the process? That was horrible, behind? dude. I had to take a half pill of Viagra and then like... Because it had, it had to be hard? Yeah, it was bad, dude. I'm like, is anybody going to be there? She's like, no, 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 no. You got right. the whole shop closed down to tattoo your <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So when we, I get there, she had her boyfriend there and then some other people. And I was like, yo, I told you I don't want anybody to be here. She's like, just lay down, it's fine. I'm like, I gotta whip out my thing and have everybody. It's like a little party to be drinking. I'm like, come on. There was a party yeah. around getting a tattoo. Yeah, dude, I was like, this is horrible. And then I didn't tell my girlfriend at the time and she found out. And well, she, how did you not tell her? That's a big deal. Because I knew she was gonna be pissed because we couldn't have, cause we couldn't have <laughs> sex for like, like at least a week, you know, because it, it heals, you know? What did your girlfriend end up saying? She broke up with me. How do you feel when you look back at old pictures of yourself before the modification? Here's a wow. photo. This is me, baby. <laughs> no, when I look back at old photos of me, I just yeah. remember the old times. Like this is high school. This is like punk rock, you know, stages. And a lot of people are like, do you regret? Like, do you miss the old you? I'm like, yeah. I'm so used to to me, and I embrace me. I'm just so comfortable with me, you know? Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite pictures of my son and I. I look at this picture and I honestly don't see me. You don't relate to that person? No. The relationship or the, the connection with my son has also changed. At that time, when I started my transformation, my son had, was six, turned, had already turned 16 and he rejected me at that time point in my life. Through no fault of his own. It was all the father's fault. And so I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, my son hasn't been in my life for seven years. I'm hoping that he is at least watching me on the internet because the reason I'm out there in such a big way is for him primarily so that he can see what his dad's doing. Uh -huh. His weird looking, strange, you know, used to be a man, is now a woman, is now a reptilian dad. If your son ends up watching this, video, is there anything that you would want to say to him? Yes, I would like to say first of all, son, I'm sorry for the mistakes that I made in life. Um, I own up to all of them. I don't make excuses for any of them, but it's those mis very mistakes that have made me the awesome person that I am now. And I'm hoping that you'll give me the chance at some point in your life and know that I'm always here waiting with wings open for you. That's so sweet. Would you be down to sing a song about body modification? Of course. Yeah, baby, I love body modification. Yeah. Wah! If you think you know what's up when you hear me hear this song, just know that I can hear it even though my ears are gone. Oh! <laughs> All right, you got five seconds to shout out anything you want. Go. Yo, guys, Richie the Barber. Check me out on Instagram, Richie the Barber. Subscribe to my channel, Richie the Barber on YouTube. I am working on a new show called Comedy Copter. And Ooh. I am going to be the co-host and news girl. Yo, guys, subscribe to Anthony Patia. Ah! Well, thank you so much. I my feel pleasure. like... I finally understand the wondrous world of body modification. After spending the day with these veterans of body modification, I've come to understand that their commitment to their art is more than just skin deep. Transforming their appearance is just one step in a long road to becoming their truest selves. These two individuals are brave and bold in the face of harsh judgment from the public, which is something we could all learn to embrace in our own forms of self-expression. See you later, bye guys. Press the like button. Ah! Beep, beep. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah. Oh my God, you're doing this within like a, yeah. such a confined space. I'm a professional, bro. My legs, I am actually terrified for Want my legs. Oh, <laughs> yeah.
Let it go. Damn! Oh! Get it, get oh. it.